Hey everybody, welcome back to part four of our Solidity beginner tutorial. Um, today we're going to be talking about events and modifiers. And this is a pretty interesting topic. Um, so both of these are kind of um, ways to modify a function. So an event is something that gets thrown in a function, and a modifier is a uh, mini function that gets ran within a function. So let's talk about that right now. Here we're going to declare a um, an event with this syntax event log user inside the parentheses we have two parameters so basically all an event does is it just gets thrown on runtime and you'll see um, you'll see the event in the transaction log so um, events are useful for a few different things uh, but uh, you don't need, need to know exactly what they're used for right now just know that they exist so let's let's use it let's um do this make this function here send one ETH um, well it's gonna be a payable function and oh actually you know what before we do that let's use a modifier as well because that uses a modifier in this function so now let's talk about modifiers a modifier is another thing it, this is the keyword modifier and this is how you declare it it looks similar to a function right that's because it is a it is kind of a function in a way now inside this function we have this statement here that requires we talked about this that message.value equal equal one ether so message.value is a uh, is a keyword in solidity that returns the value sent with the transaction so if you send 10 eth with the transaction message message.value equals 10 eth and this here one ether is uh is just shorthand for the very large number that is you know one ether right so this this is a this is a uh, uint here, one ether. So make sure equals equals, and it will throw an error, revert the transaction if if only if anything besides one ether is sent with this transaction. And this here, the syntax at the end of every modifier, you have to put a underscore and the uh, semicolon here just to tell that the modifier is done. So the way you add it to a function is after the payable and public keyword, you add the modifier here. And if this took parameters, you'd pass the parameters. So send one ETH is a function that's payable, has this modifier here, and inside it, it emits an event that logs the message.sender and the message.value as described here. So let's compile this contract and deploy it. Let's send it. Um, well, we deploy it first, and then this um, this function here, send one ETH. We're going to use this account here, 100 Ether. We're going to send five ETH and call this function. Now, we see here in the transaction hash at the bottom, we got a revert. Oh no! Why was this reverted? Well, we know why it was reverted, because only one ETH is allowed to be sent. And if anything besides one ETH is sent, then the transaction will be reverted. So let's actually do that right this time. Send one ETH. And we can see this transaction went through. And let's go down here into the logs, and we will see that an event here called log user had these arguments. So we can see our event working. We can see that our modifier worked because it required one ETH. And that's kind of how events and modifiers both work in um, in uh, solidity so we're going to uh, do a little demonstration here with parameters uh, parameters would work here you can do uint uh, 256 and call our sorry 256 and then call it amount or whatever and then you would just pass an amount like three in here and then you could do something with that value that's how parameters work on the modifiers and obviously the uh, events have to have parameters of course so that's the basics of how those two work and uh, this was a shorter tutorial but i'll catch you in part five on the basics of solidity thank you